We are live here at our XR event for the Twin Cities Film Fest. I'm Blythe Whaley alongside the wonderful Ryan Grams. And Ryan, it is so awesome being here with you. And of course, we have to start at some point to talk about what you're holding and let everyone know. But Ryan, welcome in. Thank you. Thank you so much, Blythe. It's so great to be here. This is, I think, a new thing, right, for Twin Cities Film Fest. Uh, I'm a big VR, XR, AR, MR, you know, all, nerd of, of all of these things. Um, and I've been a Twin Cities Film Fest filmmaker, alumni for a long time, so it's really great to see uh, the kind of these two worlds coming together a little bit. And so CJ Renner and I actually, and a whole bunch of us here, we have a film here, uh, Soldier. It's a VR, three, specifically a 3D 180 VR film. And this is the rig that we shot the film with. We still need to give it a name. Uh, Arthur, some A name is kind of what we're thinking right now, but uh, specifically, again, this is 180 means it sees not all the way around, but from 180 degrees. So that's the two eyes here. And then the ears, this is literally the microphone. And you can kind of see it's silicone. You can, you can wiggle the ears. And it's bizarre and weird. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is the rig that we shot Soldier with. And so we thought it'd be fun to kind of bring it along and show it off. So how long did you have this rig before you finally were like, we're going to make a film, we're going to use this, and actually make it happen? Well, back in 2019, CJ and I actually worked on a, uh, a play together yeah. called Feed Your Head. It was an, in, uh, uh, an experiential, immersive play. And so as part of that project, we wanted to capture it. So we actually built this rig for that play, and we captured the play with this rig. And then we're like, you know, man, we should really make a short with that rig. And literally, I, I think shortly before, I, I think it was spurred by the TCFF deadline because we knew that they were having VR submissions this year. And so CJ texted me and then called me. He's like, hey, can we make a VR film? You know, we got the rig, you know? And I'm like, ah, okay, let's do it. <laughs> so we did. And now we're here. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's great to see it. you getting some use out of it. Do you feel that there's going to be anything in the future coming? Do you have you thought about it? Have you talked about it yet? Uh, I mean, I'm a. If anybody who knows me knows, I'm a super nerd of epic proportions. So yes, filmmaking, this tech, and my interest in it. Yes, it's definitely going to continue to be a something I, I explore, and I can't wait to do the next one. Yeah, TJ and I are talking about the what it could be and what rig we'd want to use for it. Because not to say we've outgrown this. But well, our hope, honestly, our hope would be that we'd have a budget to have something that's a little more elaborate than this. As, as adorable as this is, uh, uh, yeah, we'd like to have something a little more, <laughs> a little more professional. What about genre? Was that's there anything that you've thought about dabbling in in the future? Yeah. So what's interesting about this platform, this this type of filmmaking, is it's almost predominantly one of two genres: documentary, and it's a wonderful platform for docs. I really think it is. There's some great docs here, the Joyce Flow doc, um, but also horror. A lot of big-time thriller suspense, specifically horror films in this genre. Now, uh, that's the easy thing to go after and be really cool to make. I'd love to make a VR horror film of some sort. But at the same time, too, it also I, I'd want to find a way to stand out. And so li we're literally having conversations about what, what would that genre be. I'm more drawn to using this as a tool to tell other types of genres, especially in the dramatic or comedic. You know, I think there's a lot of really interesting tools that this brings that could apply to a lot of genres. But one thing we're really thinking about is not quite horror, but maybe a little more on the suspense and maybe even like some sort of homage to some classic Hitchcock type stuff, but in this new world. I think some suspense thriller sort of thing in this VR world I think would be really neat to explore. Well, I'm excited. I enjoyed working with yeah, your team on this one. Yeah, yeah, I actually acted. Yeah. Yeah, let me interview you. All right, all right. I'm Ryan Grams here at Twin Cities Film Fest XR. I'm here with Blood. She stars in one of the films here tonight, Soldier. Tell me, Blood, what was it like being in this film? Yeah, I love being in this film. From the moment CJ brought it up to me, I was on board and excited. But I think what was interesting about this one is it felt a lot more like theater, just with those longer takes and going through it. But definitely enjoyed my time, and you guys are always fun to work with. So. Well, the performance was stellar, and like what I tell a lot of people is it really is a character-driven, unlike most VR stuff, this is a really character-driven piece. And so there was four of you guys, and you're one of the four in this one room. And yeah, more theatrical. Like the camera was just there and, and this performance happened in a really long take. And it was really cool to see what you guys were able to bring to the picture. So kudos. Really great job. I'm so glad to have been a part of this. Great job. Well, thank you so much. Appreciate it, Ryan. Well, something else that I'm curious about since I haven't been able to see our film yet. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell me about some of the reactions that we've had already so far this on tonight? Well, no, I think it's been really cool. People seem to talk about um, 
it's it's different, right? Being in like you're you're a part of this scene. You're not just watching on a screen. No, you're you're in it. You're there, and it feels a little unusual and yeah. and like whoa, like should I be witnessing this thing? And it's in our film specifically, as you know, it, it's pretty personal and intimate. You know what I mean? So it, it was it it's a really interesting and different experience. So that's that's what I've been hearing a lot of it is. Yeah that um, being really immersed, and this, uh, you hear that word a lot, immersive, but specifically I think because of the way that uh, our wonderful writers and directors work on this project, it really did feel like we were a part of this story and we're witnessing this story happen and unfold in front of us. And there's some really cool uh, plot devices with this uh, voicemails and you know the, uh, I don't want to give the plot away, but I love, I love the way we utilize the different plot devices inside this VR film. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Well, Ryan, it has been so awesome talking yeah, with you. Thank, you. thank you for being here. Of course. Well, this is an XR event here at the Twin Cities Film Fest. We'll be back with more interviews. I'm Blythe Whaley.